Unlock financial stability, master the psychology of money management. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. The need to look good. The first psychological aspect we're going to talk about is the need to look good. We all want to keep up with the Joneses, right? That's when we buy things just because our neighbors have them or because they're the latest trend. This behavior is often triggered by clever marketing strategies and can lead to overspending. Let's try to be more mindful of why we're buying something, is it truly for ourselves or just to impress others? Distractions Another cause of not living within our means is using shopping as a distraction. It's normal to want to avoid negative feelings, and shopping can provide temporary relief. However, that relief is often followed by buyer's regret, which only adds to our problems. Next time you feel the urge to shop to distract yourself, consider healthier coping mechanisms like exercise, meditation, or talking to a friend. Getting a dose of dopamine. Our brains love rewards. Engaging in enjoyable activities causes our brains to release dopamine, a hormone that motivates us to repeat the behavior. Shopping can be one of those activities, leading to a vicious cycle of spending and seeking that dopamine rush. To break the cycle, try to find alternative activities that give you a sense of accomplishment and happiness without breaking the bank. The need for significance. We all have a need for significance, to feel important and stand out. But when we use spending to achieve that feeling, it can quickly spiral out of control. Instead, focus on finding non-material ways to feel significant, like volunteering, helping others, or pursuing personal goals. Ask yourself, need or want? To wrap up, a simple question to ask yourself before making a purchase is whether it's a need or a want. If you can't do without it, it's a need. If it's anything else, it's a want. By being more aware of our motivations for spending and finding healthier alternatives, we can work towards financial stability and living within our means. That's it for today's video. We hope these tips help you understand the psychological aspects of money management and guide you towards financial stability. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends and family who could benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and advice.